India is looking to the future, contemplating life after lockdown. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has met chief ministers discussing plans for the end of restrictions on Sunday. While Mr Modi has hinted at another extension, he's also stressed the need to give importance to the economy. During the virtual meeting, chief ministers asked for more financial aid. Now they say it's needed to build necessary infrastructure that will help workers in their states. Some shops in neighbourhoods and residential areas have already been allowed to reopen, but only half the number of staff are allowed to work while adhering strictly to safe distancing measures. It comes as infection numbers rise to almost 28,000, with deaths nearing 900. India's quarantine centres are also overcrowded, with thousands complaining of poor sanitation and no room for safe distancing. Ishan Garg has more on Mr Modi's meeting. This is Prime Minister Modi's fourth such interaction with the chief ministers and this one comes at a particularly crucial time. India is under a lockdown till May 3rd until further notice. During the meeting, Prime Minister said that he is pleased with the results that the lockdown has got so far. However, cases in India continue to increase, although at a slower rate. According to reports, most chief ministers are in the favour of a reasonable relaxation to the lockdown. They say the 40-day period has meant zero economic activity and it is now taking a toll on people's lives. Certain states are also reporting that they have stepped up measures to battle COVID-19, taking steps such as door-to-door -door screening of everyone in the states. These states could also be pressing for a financial stimulus, one aimed at helping medium and small enterprises which form the bulk of the economic activity in smaller towns. The Indian government has not yet declared if the lockdown will end on May 3rd, but it seems likely that it will continue, although with some relaxations. This will not mean that public life in India comes back to normal, but experts have suggested that opening some borders and allowing more businesses to function can help people cope with the economic fallout of the pandemic. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.